two, we read about Dr. Samuel's children. It's an interesting story. And here they talk about Dr. Samuel's children. And if you have read that story, you know that they're not talking about his own children. It's actually the plants which grow in his garden. Isn't it beautiful? So we also come across so many new words in this story. Let's look at their meaning. The first one, Dahlia is a showy, colorful flower. Next is veranda, an empty space with a roof, usually outside a house. Saplings are young plants. Peep is to look quickly at something. Wheelbarrow is a box for carrying load, supported at one end by a wheel and at the other by handles. Now, the next activity is we need to rearrange the sentence that has been given here. Okay, it's kind of jumbled and we need to set them in the right order to frame the right sentence. Now, let's try the first one. Cut trees must we not. Shall we put it in the right order? We must not cut trees. That's correct. Second one. Saplings into tiny plants grow. The correct one would be saplings grow into tiny plants. Third one. Humans depend are on plants, animals and. The correct one would be humans are dependent on plants and animals. Uncle, a man, strong Fred is. Let's write it in the right form. Uncle Fred is a strong man. The fifth one, Srinivasan went into the deep forest. That's the correct way. And the last one, we're going to change it into, we must plant more trees. Now, the next activity here is, the entire sentence is not jumbled, but there is only one word which has been, has jumbled letters in it. There is one word that has been underlined for us. We have to change the letters and put them in the right order with the right spelling and let's see what it means. Akbar was a dash ruler. If we change the letters, it would be spelled as G-R-E-A-T. So it is great. The next one. I was dash a storybook today. It is reading, right? Let's Spell it as R-E-A-D-I-N-G. Now it is grammar time and today we are going to learn about interjections. Interjections are words which are used to express strong feelings like wow or hooray, tomorrow is a holiday, right? So we are expressing or saying something like alas. I lost my shoes, you know, or something like that. So it's to express a strong feeling when we want to say something or communicate. Okay, I'm going to write one here. Let's read it. It's wow. And then what a Pretty flower, right? So here, I'm so happy to see this pretty flower and in amazement, I'm saying, wow. So, wow is used as an interjection here and it follows with an exclamatory mark, right? So, these are how we write interjections and it is so much fun to use them in our sentences in our day-to-day -day life. So there are some given for us, let's read them. And here in this activity, you need to fill in the blanks with the correct interjections from the options given. So the first one, dash, be careful the ball might hit anyone. It's ahoy. And the second one, dash, what a beautiful cake. So we can use wow, it's to express an amazement, right? And the third one, Ugh or bravo, such a foul smell. Ugh. And the fourth one, 
dash, look at the moon. We don't say hooray, look at the moon. We say oh, look at the moon. So this is how we need to write all these sentences. And the next one is add punctuation marks where needed to form correct sentences. Thank God the enemies have been defeated. So after thank God we can use exclamatory mark there. And then for the second one, blah, can you stop talking? So we need to use exclamatory mark after blah. Now it's time to listen and learn how to communicate. So there are few words that have O, U in it. And there are few other words which have O, W in it. So as I read these words, you have to figure out which one falls in which category. And then we need to list out the words that have O, U in it and the words which have O, W in it. It's a little tricky, but let's see if you can figure it out. The first one, cow. It has C-O-W, right? So we need to write it with the, the second list. And the next one, about. It has O-U in it. So it goes with the first list. Next one, owl. It has O-W. And you can write it in the second list. Then we have down. It has O-W in it. And then doubt, D-O-U-B-T, so O-U. And then how, so it has O-W in it. What about now? It has O-W again. And the next one is loud, L-O-U-D. And then wow, it has O-W. And found, O-U, S-O-U-N-D, sound. And then the last one is our it has o u in it now we're going to read a poem that's given in our book it's about the lamp let's read it little lamp who made thee dost thou know who made thee gave thee life and bid thee feed by the stream and over the mead gave thee clothing of delight Softest clothing, wooly, bright, gave thee such a tender voice, making all the whales rejoice. Little lamb, who made thee? Dost thou know who made thee? Little lamb, I'll tell thee. Little lamb, I'll tell thee. He is called by thy name, for he calls himself a lamb. He is meek and he is mild. He became a little child. I a child and thou a lamb, we are called by his name. Little lamb, God bless thee, little lamb, God bless thee. This is a beautiful poem by William Blake and we have come across few words. Let's learn their meaning. Lamb is a young sheep. In the Bible, Lord Jesus has also been called a lamb. Thee means you. Thou means also you. Stream, a small narrow river. Mead, an area naturally covered with tall grass. Whale, low lying area between two hills. Dust means do. Now I'm gonna read few words and you have to tell me which word rhymes. We have to look at the poem that's given and let's see which is the word that rhymes to these words. Let's try the first one. Kid. Can you tell me which one rhymes here? Let's look at the third line. There's something called bid. So kid and bid rhymes very well. Now the second one. Cream. Let's search for something which rhymes here. It is stream. Yeah, cream and stream. And the next one is hail. Let's see what rhymes. It's whale. And then we have gender. What rhymes to gender? It's tender. Very good. Wild. Do you remember what comes here? It is child that rhymes. And the last one, seed. What rhymes to that? It is 
mead very good now today we learnt about interjections so we have to match the following which have been given based on these interjections so there are few words that we use here and you have to tell looking at the other column and tell us the meaning of these words okay let's try if you can do it right the first one is uh -huh. um so here it is the third one to express disapproval or embarrassment it's like a slight cough and the second one really it is to express surprise that's right the first one the third one oops which one do you think matches that it is the sixth one that's correct it's to express an acknowledgement of mistake and fourth one shoo it is to express a wish that something goes away like an animal we shoo it away right and the fifth one yay it's the fourth one that matches that is to express happiness ug the sixth one that is to express disgust and then the last one is wow that's an easy one i hope you remember all that we learned we learned about interjections we had gone through few rhyming words and word meaning so i want you to go through once again and look at all the activities that we have worked out today and let's see you in the next unit bye